but uncontrolled cell division can cause tumours to form. Here we've got a growth pattern followed by a type of tumour. So we can see here that as time goes on, the number of cells in the tumour is increasing until it reaches a maximum size for the tumour. The question says, use figure 7 to calculate the percentage of maximum growth this type of tumour reaches before it can be detected. You'll need to use the 10x button on your calculator. I've written that down there. It's a little bit bigger. So that's what I'm going to be showing you. We need to use that. So the maximum growth of the tumour is here. And we can find the maximum growth of the tumour by drawing a line across to here. And so the maximum growth of our tumour is going to be well. What we can do there is convert that into the number of cells. These logs are the way of write, writing really big numbers in a simple, easy to use form. And you need to know in A-level how to convert these back to the original number. And it's really quite simple. It just means you've got a one with 12 zeros after it. And you can plug that into your calculator like so. And I'll show you the buttons here. So you're going to press shift first of all followed by log then you're going to want to press 12 so it appears in that little box and then equals you get 1 times 10 to the 12 and that means we're going to have a 1 with 12 zeros after it so you didn't actually need to put that in but they want you to use the button so you might as well that's a trillion so the maximum growth this tumor can get to is a trillion cells Let's look, when is it detected? Well, our tumour is detected here, and that's it. So our tumour is detected at 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1 billion cells we can detect our tumour. So really, we want to find out what percentage is that of the maximum growth, which was 1 trillion. So what percentage is 1 billion of 1 trillion? So they're asking us, what percentage is this of this? OK, so what percentage before it can be detected? So really, this is 1,000, three extra zeros more than that. So it's a 1,000 times bigger, which means this is 0.1%. Now, if you want to do that with your calculator, just put 1 billion and divide that by 1 trillion, which is 12 zeros. And you get 0 0.001, then you times 100, and you got 0.1%. But if you realize that there's three extra zeros, on the final number, you know it's a thousand times bigger anyway. And a thousand times bigger means the original number is 0.1%. Cool. Hope we've covered that. The clue here is that they asked us to use 10x. That's the uh, 10 with the little square. So that's what they're asking us to use. All right, let's move on to the next question. So I'm going to clear that. Well, let's come to this question. This is 6.2. Figure 7 can also be used to calculate the age of this type of tumour. At diagnosis, a patient had a tumour of 3.98 times 10 to the 11 cells. Uh, you will need to use a log base 10 button on your calculator. So this is asking you to use a different button on the calculator. Now this time, we're going to Put this number, which is in standard form, 3.98 times 10 to the 11 cells, that's standard form. We're going to reconvert that, or we're going to convert that into log base 10. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, you find the uh, log number on your calculator again. This time you don't press shift. Uh, you just press the log number. And then you're going to enter 3.98 and put it in standard form. So times 10 to the 11 and that equals 
So what you're looking to do is have log like this. You're going to put 3.98 on your calculator times, that's the worst times in history, 10 to the 11, and that's going to equal 11.59. Now that's converted that into log base 10. And so what we can do here, that's converted this into what we're using here on our graph. So we can now take we can follow this up to 11.59. I might as well rhyme that up to 11.6, which is here. Each one of these small squares over here is worth two points on this graph or two units. So this is 11.6. And I'm going to draw my line across and see where it reaches the age. I think it's about there. And then I'm going to come down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have I even drawn that straight? That don't look too straight to me. But... I guess that's about 4.7. Yeah, that looks about 4.7. So 4.7 years. And there you go. So that number there just stands for the number of zeros, really. You've got after the one. Nice and easy. All right, let's look at another difficult maths question that comes up in this one. So let me clear the screen. Okay, for this particular question. So what we're being asked here in 6.15 or 6.5, because I'm only concentrating on the maths parts of this question. That's why I've skipped a few bits. A lung cancer patient received 15 milligrams of Trexel per week. So we just highlight that there. We'll find that this corresponds, this 15 milligrams, to the Trexel here. So I know I'm going to be doing something with this number, okay? Okay. Right. After the treatment, the diameter of the lung tumor was 35.8 millimeters. So use the mean percentage change in tumor volume shown in figure 10 uh, to calculate the volume of the patient's tumor and the key. This is involved before the treatment. So after the treatment, we're going to expect it to actually get smaller because they're treating it, the tumor. So we want it to shrink the tumor. And look, what, lo and behold, after 15 micrograms, or sorry, 15 milligrams, that's the little m stands for milli. Don't get that mixed up with the upside down U type um, symbol, which is micrograms. So 15 milligrams here. And if I follow this along, I'll find out exactly what per the percentage is. And it's right bang in the middle. So this is going to be negative 25%. So we've had a negative 25% mean change in volume of tumors. Let's get to it. Let's find out what the volume, first of all, of the tumor is after the treatment, because we've been given the diameter. That's not volume. I need to convert that to volume. And I need to use this equation that they've kindly given us. So I'm going to take you through on the calculator how to do that. So what I want to do is, first of all, I need to divide 35.8 millimeters by 2. Why am I doing that? Because I want R. I want the radius. So I'm going to do that. 35.8 um, divided by 2. And that's going to give me 17.9. So my radius after treatment is 17.9. Now, you might be thinking, why are you doing the after treatment? It's because we need to find that out before we can work out the volume before. So now I need to plug that in and I need to cube that. So we need to do R3. Um, and that equals... Okay, that's a big number. 5735.339 millimeter cubed. Whoops, not pounds. Okay, so, and what I get here, if I go four thirds times 3.14 times uh, my R3, which we just worked out, that gives me 20. 4,011 millimeters um, cubed. So this is 24,011 millimeter cubed. Brilliant. That is the size of the tumor after the treatment. Okay. So that's the tumor after the treatment. And this is actually all of that hard work as it is with these math questions in AQA. 
all of that just scores you one mark. We now need to convert this back to the original. Um, so we're looking at, um, so what is the original size of the tumor after treatment? The tumor is 75% its original size. How do I know that? Well, we know that because over here, we found out it was 25% less. Notice the minus sign. It went down by 25%. So it's 75% the original size. So what we need to do is find out what 1% is and then times that back to get the original size. So we go, okay, 24,011 divided by 75 is going to give me 1%. Uh, which is going to be, um, so let's carry that out and find out what 1% 1 is. 1% 1 is 320. So 1% equals 320.159. We can round that up if we want. We can round that up to 320. 0.16 and now what we're going to do we're going to times that by 100 and we've got equals 32,015 millimeters and that's going to be cubed so there we go we worked out what one percent of the original tumor was by knowing that the afterwards it was 75 percent of the original we, time, we divided it by 75 to find out what 1% is, then times it by 100 to get the original. I just want to say that depending on what buttons you use in your scientific calculator, you can get some variation in the answer. So here I'm using the cube button for my radius, and rather than just times 17.9 by 17.9 by 17.9, I'm using the cube button. This is going to be a little bit more accurate. We're going to get a slightly different result. So now I plug it into the formula and my original volume, or sorry, my volume of the tumor after treatment is a slightly different number. It's 24,173 millimeters instead of 24,011 millimeters. So now I'm going to divide this by 75%. And then I'm going to times 100. And we're going to get a slightly different answer, but it's accepted on the mark scheme. They have a range for the answers, and both of the answers are within that range on the mark scheme to get four marks. There you go. And there we go. That's how you do it. And if you can understand that, you're a genius. Leave a comment with suggestions or any other thing you want me to cover. Let's get to the marks. See you later.